And hello there, this is Izix with another episode of Minecraft on Banana Viking Server! And, um, I apparently am up high somewhere, floating above the, the Mushroom Kingdom here. Uh, I haven't done much work over there, I have a few trees up because, uh, I need trees. Um, so, about that iron farm. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we are at such a stage that we are essentially done with the primary bit of the build. It's been, uh, I've been working on this hard off screen for you guys. We got things together here. We got hopefully all the villagers we need in the various corners and things like that. Uh, still the one farmer dude there. I'm not sure what's up with him. Um, so they're doing their thing. They're uh, occasionally freaking out, but they seem to stop freaking out about the zombies at some point. If I do that, they may go to bed at some point. Because I can no longer see the, uh, the zombies. Uh, we still got like four or five minutes here uh, before uh, night time. And then I can show you a bit more cohesively what's going on here. And, uh, and because they're not freaking out anymore, because they're tired, they're exhausted, they need to sleep, they are not getting the right mode for which to spawn golems. So we have some, some flowers here, but that's about it. Hmm. Well, is this massive project been a failure? Well, I wouldn't say that. So if we can uh, have some sort of say, automated system to occasionally reset them at the right time of day. That might be kind of swell. Or at the very least, a manual button to uh, do the same. Oops. My light truck makes me sometimes fly when I don't mean to. But um, So I got all iron now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I think I have more in the chest over there as well. Uh, yes. Probably. Um, but we're coming over here to pick up some of these. Some of this. And uh, I still have cobble around here somewhere. I got a little bit there. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And some wood. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit like that. We're not going to need all of this, of course. Uh, we're also going to need some redstone of various sorts. Uh, a little more, perhaps, just in case. We're also going to need... Where is... Need at least three of these. We're going to need uh, one, two, three of these. And do we got any extra slabs? We have a few extra slabs. There we go. Because now, assuming they didn't change the recipe on me, should be something like this to get a daylight sensor. Hooray! I got a daylight sensor, which gives off a red zone signal when it's daylight. The problem is that signal is the reverse of what we need. We're going to be playing around with the uh, thing with it, Jigs. Um, I also got some science here. I'll uh, have a look at that in just a moment. But I want to sort of give you guys the, uh, the general rundown of how we're going to set things up here. We are going to make all of that. You're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pistons. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We got the bricks for it. We're good to go. And uh, do we have any dirt left over? Did I use it all for um, scaffolding at this point? Hmm. Well, I guess we could dig up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> I'm slowly trimming away all the land here. It's um, a little, uh, little daunting, actually. I hope you guys are having a good day. The day of which I am recording this, which this day is I am not telling people unless you're paying very close attention. Uh, is actually on a very special day. It's the day when I get slightly older. Yep. A day where one of the various numbers of the calendar transform forward. 
And uh, I become officially no longer 164 years old. Now 165. Whoops. But that's fine. We can deal with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. So, the general vibe is we're going to have a block right here. And then we're going to set up thing where I might want to do this here we're gonna go we're gonna go upstairs remember so so if you forgot how this all works so we've got the villagers here they see the zombie they get freaked out uh the villagers have to be in the proper town mode or something like that they can't be what the mode they are right now in order for that to work so we need to occasionally cover up the spot between the zombie and the villagers in order for them to get the, the panic mode when they're in panic mode the villagers uh, the fools they are start summoning iron golems these iron golems pop up in this location they cannot pop up here because these are half slabs and these iron golems uh, proceed to get themselves pushed off the sides they can get push hit the sides there and they get pushed into the middle where they get lavaed and then the uh the droppings of their iron and uh you know poppies there then becomes <clears throat> excuse me uh something to laugh at no uh, they uh, become Something to be picked up here. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, hmm. I'm suddenly dying. Oh, no. <sighs> Guess that was bound to happen someday. <laughs> All right. Um, so we want... Yeah. So we want the, uh, the actual piston to be there. Sorry, Mr. Dirt. Uh, so we got piston here, so that means we need that there. Okay. So that we can make sure. Oh, see, they're going to bed now. That's good. It's good. The other dudes, the other guys, the other ones in the various other cubby holes, they are not going to bed yet because they are naughty boys and girls. He's all sticky because that is how you get uh, going with me here. There we go. All right, so when this thing uh, is retracted, it'll pull up the the, the brick, brick here, and these dudes will be able to see Mr. Zombles. I guess they might be able to see them presently. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, but cool. <laughs> Mr. Zombles will then, uh, well, when, when then they'll, they'll do the uh, iron spot, the spotting and all that, and good stuff will happen. All right. Um, I need a few sticks. So I'm going to need to do a little work here. Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright. I still don't want these dudes to be spawning iron golems, though, is the problem. So we need to be kind of careful about how we do with this, uh, this redstone business here. Hmm. Yeah, about that. There they go to bed. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm so annoyed because they like sleep out of the bed in the middle of the pool of water there. And if these beds are not aligned the right way, they sleep with their heads in the water. What the hell, people? <laughs> All right. Um, I got an important question here. If I do this... Okay, so that will work. I'm always a little weird about what the exact rules are on some of this stuff here. Right. Okay. A little confused. Why is that not updating? Should be pulling that up. Hmm. Can I set that there? Okay. All right, well, that pops off the uh, the redstone. All right, so that's gonna be badness. Uh, does this work? It's been so long since I've played with pistons and crap. So forgive me if I'm sort of muddling through this here. Alright, so that... Sit down. 
pulls it up. It's down. All right. So we can work with that. All right. Pretty good. Good. So we are going to go ahead and collect up our resources. And we are going to hopefully get a little bit of a uh, stone going on here. All right. So when the these guys wake up, the iron golems should be ready to rumble. Same with this these guys here. Whoop. Doop -de -doop. Hmm. So it's about that time again for this uh, for this year. Um, you guys got any um, no oh, uh, a Boxing Day plans? Yeah, any any of those? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, well, these guys are for sure going gone to bed. Let's go ahead and go to bed ourselves. We I love flying. Someday I'll fix my mob tower over there and I'll be able to have infinite rockets forever. It's only kind of working right now. It's not very efficient. Part of it is I need to light up more stuff underground, but, you know, that takes time. And Well, I've been needing to uh, repair my, my picks, which I did a bit, bit of recently. So I have 46 levels. <laughs> uh, where was I? Uh, bricks. Yeah. Well, in case we need more, let's go ahead and just grab a few more of these here. Turn them preemptively into our... That's not what we're needing here. Into our stone bricks. So I'll admit that I can't say that I'm any sort of uh, religious sort of person. Uh, to extent, the various followers of the various faiths have sort of ruined uh, a lot of the, the the sort of side stuff there for me, uh, but that's okay. Um, I didn't need it anyway. <laughs> now, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I won't uh, begrudge people for having uh, strong faiths and things like that, um, but I will, uh, you know, have an issue with folks that are uh, intentionally cruel about such things that use their intense beliefs in order to uh, berate others. But for other folks, there are, there are opportunities to be had in uh, you know, the, the, some of the things that pops up in a lot of different religions. And that's things like kindness and charity and being generally swell people to each other. You know, that whole uh, universal uh, you know, kindness sort of stuff there. You know, it's it's something that isn't necessarily emphasized by some folks, but uh, that's kind of a shame, really. Do you like that right now? But in this season of um, almost winter, or winter now, probably when this goes up, uh, we can uh, we can we can we can do pretty well for each other here, I think. All right, and let's go ahead and do that. Let's let do that. Good stuff can happen. Then test this, make sure it still works. It's down. It's up. Good, good. And hello, Mr. Iron Golem. Why are you not falling off the side there? Caught on the thing, I don't know. That's not good. Well, you'll eventually fall off, so that's good. At the very least. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, independent of what your, uh, your your faith or whatever is about, uh, I hope your holiday season this year is uh, is one that, yeah, where it's not only that you are able to feel the appreciation of others, but you are of the sort of mind to maybe help uh, out others. There are a lot of good people in this world, and uh, I hate to see them suffer, but you know what? If we can uh, help each other out just a little bit, we'll go a long way. So yeah, be cool. Be cool, folks. Be cool. Hoo-ha. Alrighty. Um, we're going to need some repeaters in here. That's why I'm kind of leaving a little room here and there. Uh, hello, Mr. Iron Golem. There. Uh, so 
So I'm putting these half slabs here so there's not iron golems popping up on top of these uh, little rail sit situations. Do -do. And somewhere above here, I will have the daylight sensor. I just made it to sort of demonstrate some of my planning here. Uh -huh. Not actually kidding, man. Hey, kitty. I still have no idea whose cat that is. <laughs> nope, don't need to put that one there. A lot, a lot of action going on. <laughs> a lot of burning to death, too. Hmm. <laughs> so here I am talking about kindness and uh, being uh, and, and charity and things like that while well, I'm imprisoning uh, 6, 12, 24 uh, villagers in an impossible to escape situation where they'll be perpetually terrorized by zombies forever. <laughs> um, am I the baddie? Probably. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, uh, put the repeater there. Put the repeater there. Uh, I'll put the repeater there. And yeah, so I'll just mirror this on the other side so I don't need to go through the full rigmarole for that. Uh, put that there. Uh -huh. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, and fill this up. Fill this up. And, um, oh no. There we go. I can escape. This will give me an opportunity to uh, put things down here as I need a marker of sorts. There we go. So, it's a little unorthodox, but uh, we'll do what we need. And if we can just... Uh... That was a little more damage than I was planning, but... Hey, we're getting iron again. That's cool. It'll last about a day, but uh, we'll get get going once more very good very good yeah so that's what that's going on so you might have noticed uh two things the signs i already sort of drew your attention to also these uh, chests here this one is empty because i've gotten around to filling it and also i put it in the wrong place to do a double chest and but there's this one because you see this chest is full of mushroom pieces, mushroom blocks, yes. And stems and things like that. Because I've been using my silk touch uh, to uh, collect bits and pieces there. Why? Well, how else am I going to dress up this monstrosity? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's huge and large. Um, and uh, for my footprint, I could probably actually add a, another set here. No, I don't need another set. <laughs> It's going to be producing tons of iron when it's all working in, in, in the first place. But you see, footprint is 34 by 60. Uh, that is the complete footprint, including the uh, iron golem spawn areas. Uh, iron golems cannot spawn on the half slabs. They cannot spawn on the rail track areas. But they can spawn on the dirt clumps, potentially, though it hasn't seen it there. So I might that, might, that inner one might be where it is. I thought it was going to be the outer space. So it might actually be two less than the 60... Uh, which is the lengthwise here. Um, and I did a little calculation. So the radius of a circle would need to be about 37 from the middle, which I estimate to be about there. <coughs> and if the circle is done properly, it should encompass the entirety of this uh, dirt rectangle here. And, uh, and that will need to go up at least five or six blocks uh, just on that level, maybe one or two below. Uh, and then we can have the underside of the mushroom as we so uh, so enjoy. And yeah, because we're going to turn this entire thing into one giant mushroom. The uh, specifics of that will, uh, well, you'll see it uh, sort of start to coalesce as things progress here on this, uh, this little bit of land here. It's not going to be a complicated build, so I'm probably not going to be doing any on-screen designing for you. And also do you need to sort out the specifics of the uh, numerids and things like that as far as getting a nice, good, consistent circle. Uh, the underside, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. I might use stem blocks. I might use red mushrooms. I 
Maybe I'll use brown mushrooms. I have no idea at this point. Maybe I'll do some sort of cool pattern. But uh, there is going to be a stem that is going to be coming down roughly in the middle. And uh, that roughly in the middle stem will come down to right around here. Uh, that stem coming down the middle will uh, be the output point for our iron. And because we now, provided we have this thing working, can basically create infinite amounts of iron, uh, we can have infinite amounts of hoppers. And with infinite amounts of hoppers, you can uh, basically move things wherever you like. And so, yeah, this 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 mega project of mine, this you know, technological masterpiece, uh, which I borrowed designs from, uh, from others for, uh, is coming together. And it is, it is, uh, it is functional. It's... Uh, there are the you know the weird things I need to do to finish pulling it off, but once I get that all sorted together, uh, and uh, get the satellite sensor working, so so we can give everyone a nice little uh, nap time, we'll be good to go. So I guess before I get to that, I've been sort of uh, thinking about how I want to do the uh, the daylight sensor here, uh, and to a certain extent, I need something to turn the constant signal into a pulse, uh, and that pulse to then be lengthened. Uh, the pulse lengthener, I think, can get worked on a, I think it's called a, is this the XOR latch? I forget. Something like that. Um, let me do a thing real quick. Mm. Yeah, it has to be over here so we can activate it. There we go. So this gives me an output signal now. Cool. Uh, then we have something like this, which fails to activate that. No, it turns that off. Oh, because this is now on. Ah. I'll figure this out. I'm, I'm bad at the redstone logic, which is weird given my uh, my actual real world background. Uh, uh, but I, I, I can program it. Just I need to. Fill around with the the physical manifestations a bit in order to get to work. But hey, I can barely do pistons. That's good. <laughs> but uh, I'll get that sorted out. And uh, when I have an idea of where I'm going to put the top of this thing, I'll get that installed properly. Otherwise, I'll do a temporary build sort of hanging out in the middle. But yeah, so that's uh, where this project's at now. And uh, now that this pain in the ass is kind of where it needs to be. And uh, sure, I haven't figured out everything, but I've gotten pretty far. Um, we'll uh, be able to progress. Hello, kitty. Pretty kitty. Who's a pretty kitty? Uh, I hear cats came out, like the movie, and it's like frightening people. It's weird. Like some sort of Eldridge Hoyer sort of experience. <laughs> but uh, when you think about it, if you ever seen Cats the Musical, there's not really a plot. There's like. I know that that's not like saying anything new for anyone who's like, at all familiar with the source material, but like, I, I'm not trying to really explain. It's more like an experience. So how do you turn an experience into a movie? I've not seen cast the movie, by the way. I, I've just been hearing all sorts of takes that are basically like, holy smokes, what the hell was that? <laughs> but to, ex to a certain extent, that is kind of what an experience is all about. It is going through a situation where you are a little confused, but mostly there. Hello, kitty. Whose cats are these? <laughs> There's another one over there. Uh, you get you, you a certain experience. Uh, you know, you 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 are there to have things be experienced and to feel things, and not necessarily for it to make sense. That works for a stage play. I'm a little doubtful as far as the general competency of a movie version of that sort of thing. I mean, there are some movies that kind of count for that, some of them which I rather enjoy, despite their massive flaws. Um, I guess to a certain extent, 2001 A Space Odyssey, which we covered on Watchers of Tomorrow. Hey, you guys should watch Watchers of Tomorrow if you're enjoying this stuff here. <laughs> uh, I am slightly less coherent most of the time, but uh, I try. <laughs> Yeah, but is it? You're incoherent on your YouTube channel. I know. Isn't it wild? I could be more incoherent. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go finish tearing down this mushroom. Maybe plant some more. Cause I got a lot of building to do. 
But I think for next time, we'll probably get back to either village sort of stuff, because that will be sort of progressing forward, slowly but surely. Or alternatively, my next big project uh, that I'll be... Okay, the, the, the next big bit of construction, not necessarily for function, but for my, my own amusement sort of stuff, because this stuff, that's for function. That's, for, that's uh, it's a, it's a, a technological terror that is uh, present in order to give us lots and lots of iron. But that, the other things I want to build though, are a little more designy. I'm not building another castle on the server, don't worry about that, but it is going to be a little stone heavy, you could say. Maybe some iron, because what if I got this going at full tilt, this is going to be producing a lot of iron. So much iron. Iron. Hmm. Iron, it's delicious. Yeah. Just eat it up, baby. Iron. <laughs> Izzy, you're losing your mind. I know. Have you not noticed my state of being? This is who I am. I'm, I'm a little loopy sometimes. Let's see how efficient this is now. I've been lighting up a bunch of stuff down below. Uh, and checking this out with the end of today's episode. Um, I'm not expecting much, but uh, never know. We could get a good few things here. And also, we got to be careful about drowns showing up and trying to murder us. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. So far, not so good. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, hello there. Oh, that didn't take so long. Yay! Okay, so we're we're hitting our stride. It's mostly zombies, looks like. Any creepers? Hey, we've got a creeper. Nice. All right. Cool. All right. Well. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Izix playing some uh, Minecraft on the Banana Viking server. And uh, make sure to check out the other folks and uh, their various projects there. Uh, I did a little bit of wandering around earlier today to uh, uh, get some slime balls. Hooray! Thank you, Geppin. <laughs> and everyone's builds are going like crazy. It's like, yeah, I, see, I watch some of their vids and then I'm like, you know, I'm like go there and it's like, why? Well, this is like, there's so much more here than you're... Then you're not showing the people, guys. Or maybe you are. I just missed that video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anywho, I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. Uh, hit Patreon link down below. All that fun jazz. Like, subscribe, bells. Um, maybe YouTube will have a new thing where you have to, like, tap a shoe or something like that in the near future. Or, you know, put in a, a call, a toll-free number, say... I want to actually get these people's vids. <laughs> Whatever that future version may be, make sure to go do it. Uh, until next time, everybody, toodles. Woohoo!